Hey, and welcome back to the first step tutorial video series on PTV Visa. In this video, we are going to talk about graphic parameters and what we can do based on our personal preferences with this option. Okay, so till now we were talking about the demand data which is stored inside the matrices. So now I will go back to the network window from this window box here. And inside the network window, if you notice at this moment, OD pairs object is selected, but we want to uh, change the graphic parameters for some other network objects. All of the network objects are listed inside this window and based on what we want, we can choose any one of the object. For example, in this case, as an example, I'm going to be changing the graphic parameters for zones. So I have selected zones here and the the layer symbol of zones is where I can change the graphic parameters from. So if I right click this symbol, first of all, uh, let's turn on the zones layer. So we can also turn on the zones layer by using this, by just clicking on this layer symbol. Uh, you can also see the ones which are white and highlighted, they are turned on at this moment and the gray ones, they are turned off. So for example, if we want to turn on nodes, I will just click on the layer symbol of nodes and it will turn on. At this moment, because it is getting too crowded in my network editor, I will turn off links because I want to focus on zones and we can keep the nodes turned on. So I have turned on the zones layer and we can see that each zone has a boundary and it also has a centroid. So we have a total number of we can go to network statistics to uh, to know these things. So we have a total number of 90 zones here. And if, for example, I select, and select any one of these zones, in the quick view zones window, we can get some of the very basic uh, attributes for that particular zone. So we don't need to double click the zone or open the list of the zone to understand the attributes. We can quickly see them in this window right here. Okay. So if we now want to change the graphic parameters of zones, we need to go back to the layer symbol of zones and we should right click on this layer symbol. When I right click, I open this added graphic parameter dialog box. In this dialog box, you can see there are all the uh, network objects which are listed on the left side of this box. And from this, the zones and the display is already selected. Uh, on the right side, we see the preview, which is the current preview. We also see some other um, specifications, like for example, in this service, uh, in this draw surface option, if I click it, there's an option of how I want to draw it. Do I want to keep it, uh, do I want to fill the color completely or do I want to change any line style inside the zone and stuff like that. So in this, for this example, let's uh, fill it completely we can change the color as well. So we can just put it blue. What I like to do normally is I want to reduce, uh, make it more transparent so that I can see the network behind if I have turned that on. So we will keep it at 60%. We can also change the border color. I want to keep the border as solid so we can keep the border as it is. Uh, meanwhile, we can also check from our preview if we like it or not. Maybe I will change the uh, opaqueness a little bit more and this one looks better to me. I will just click OK. We can also see what we want to, uh, the text that we want to see with the zones. So in this case, by default, the number attribute is selected. If I click here, I will see all the other attributes for zone, which, uh, which I can also see on top of my zone layer. So for example, I want to see the area of the zone with the zone. So I will select area. Of course, I cannot read this on top of the blue. So I will just make it black. This is the font color and this is the border of the font. Uh, and I will just press, we can also see it by preview. So if I just do preview, we get this idea and I will just press okay. I will also turn off the nodes layer to get a better understanding of this. So this gives me an idea of the uh, areas of the zones. We can also, this was, we were doing this within the uniform display. Even to improve this, we can also go to the classified display, which is uh, which changes the colors or the 
attribute or the graphic settings of the zones based on one single or one particular attribute. And by default, that single attribute is usually the type number. And in this case, we have four different type numbers. Uh, so they have four different uh, styles, which will be shown at the end. So let's let's keep it like this. And if I want to preview this, so this is what comes out. So these are based on the type number. We have now different colors and different settings for each of the zones. We can also change these settings based on the area like we were doing before. And if there is an attribute that you have recently selected, you can select it again from the quick access uh, portion here. I will just do this. And it has already created some limits. If I want to change these limits, I will go to the redefine all classes. And here I can, I can uh, change the number of classes. I can make them six. I can change the distribution of the class limits. I can even do it based on my personal preference. I can use the natural blade breaks, or I can just make it equidistant to make it simple for now. So I will do this. I will. So in this case, because we only had three classes previously, so we need to add more colors here. We can just do maybe a green here. We can do this color here and just click on OK. And if uh, we see now, now the zones are colored based on their areas. So this gives us a very good understanding of which zone has. If we can, of course, the area is a very simple attribute. So we can also understand or get an understanding by just looking at it. But uh, later, when we have the structural data inside, inside our transport model for demand modeling, it's a very useful uh, 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 it's a very useful feature to use because we can get an understanding of how many uh, uh, homes are there, for example, in a model, what are the wish, what is the ratio of workspaces inside the model and stuff like that. Okay, so uh, this is this was about the zones. We can also take a look at the links. Uh, I will turn off the zones again. Inside the links, if I go click right click again on the layer symbol, I will open this dialog window again. And you will see that inside the links, we have an option of bars. And if you look closely uh, norm, uh, at this moment, the bars are depicting the assignment results, the PRT and PUT assignment results. So if I click on the bars option and I go to display, Maybe I want to add another bar. And if I add another bar, the uh, it will also, the default attribute to create this bar will be the volume. So if I want to change this attribute to, I don't know, we can change it to length, for example. We change it to length. We can also change the uh, dimension of the bar. Let's make it eight for this case. I don't want to see the rest of the bars at this point. We can also change the colors of the bar. We don't want to define, we don't want the classified display at this moment. We just want the uniform display. So we can change the color from here. We can make it this color. And then we click on preview and we click on OK. So in this case, we uh, the thickness of the bar it depicts the length of the link. Of course, we can uh, do a lot more with the graphic parameters and we can um, make our life easier using the graphic parameters because they give us a quick understanding of the characteristics of our model. Uh, thank you for watching this video. And if you want to know more, check out our next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.